If I had a message for the dark side, it would be this. I grew up in a very unstable environment. I got picked on pretty much everywhere I went. And as soon as I turned 19, I became an alcoholic for 15 years. And when I lost my mom to cancer, right before my son was born, I had a spiritual awakening and I looked within and I seen so much damage that 13 months later, I decided to end my life because I never liked it here. And that's when Archangel Michael appeared. For a very long time, almost a decade, I've been on this healing journey. And in 2020, when my marriage of 22 years came to a sudden end, and I found myself living back at home with my dad at the age of 39, realizing that with my new child support payments, the job that I'd worked 22 years at was no longer going to be able to provide me. I felt as if I had no energy to rebuild my life. I was going through some things and I fell into a state of darkness, you could say. A short amount of time, I ended up firing my highest guide. And when he appeared to me, I ended up putting my angelic sword between his eyes. I'd go for walks in nature and picture myself throwing spears made from lava forged in hell up at my guides. You know, I got so fed up with this reality that I started astral projecting into other realities, asking for assistance with the shutdown of this timeline, only to be greeted by a being that was at least five times the size of this planet. And after he looked in, he told me that that wasn't gonna happen. I was told by one of my angels that they were concerned that I'd fallen into the dark side and I ended up strangling this angel until Archangel Michael told me to let him go. I know what it's like to hate. I know what it's like to hold anger, sadness, resentment in your heart. It wasn't until my guides and angels had enough of me flipping the bird up to the sky that they would allow me to experience what hell felt like. And for 18 hours, I had a fallen angel attached to me. And if I had one message for the dark side, it would be this. Understanding what hell is like is very humbling. And one thing I can almost guarantee, unless you've had some kind of experience, you can't imagine what it feels like. The best way to describe it would be, imagine being in your body and you're so angry and ra enraged that you don't recognize yourself and you're actually scaring yourself. You're so angry, you're like beside yourself. That is, that's a small glimpse. You know, for 18 hours, I had every muscle in my body flexing and I was just cursing the heavens. And it wasn't until the anger that started to flow through my veins became so much that I just leaned over the chair and I became afraid. I was terrified of the amount of rage that was flowing through me and I cried out for help. And you know, that's when Jesus came in and cleared this thing from me. One thing I will say to anyone that's had a difficult life and is holding on to a bunch of anger, you know, this life, 80 to 100 years, depending on the technology and the people you know, I guess. But, uh, you know, for the most part, this life is pretty short and it has a great impact on your afterlife. One thing, I can almost guarantee you is if you're gonna go down this path of darkness, there will become a period in time where your reality becomes too much and you'll want change. And depending on how far you've dug yourself into a hole, you know, it's only gonna get harder and harder to open up your heart and choose a less chaotic path for yourself, especially in the afterlife. Something to think about, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.